so this curve is known as trophoid this curve can be something like this also so how we come to know whether our loop is on the positive side of x axis or on the negative side of the x axis so from this equation a plus x whatever is with y that determines whether our loop is on the positive side on the negative side so here we have a plus x and we got the asymptote here so the curve will be starting from here then we put y equal to 0 then we will get the loop similarly when we put this term equal to 0 we get x equal to a so this is our asymptote and the curve will be starting from here then we put y equal to 0 here we get x square equal to b plus x equal to 0 so x is 0 or b is minus x so these are the two points which will be here so whenever we have minus x term with x square and plus x term with y square then the loop is on the positive side and whenever we have plus x term with x square and minus x term with y square then the loop is on the negative side so remember this then we have 9 a y square equal to x minus 2 a x minus 5 a the whole square so now this curve is y square x minus 2 a x minus 5 a the whole square upon 9 a so this curve will have x into this when we expand this we will get x square minus 10 a x plus 25 a square so x into x will be x cube so this equation is quadratic in y and cubic in x so this curve is also similar to this curve but now if you see here we do not have any asymptote so we put y equal to 0 when we put y equal to 0 we have x minus 2a into x minus 5a the whole square equal to 0 either this term will be 0 so x equal to 2a either this term is equal to 0 we get x equal to 5a so here it is 2a and here it is 5a so now if you see here we got two points on the x-axis so this will be our loop so now what is the highest power highest power is x minus 5a the whole square so curve will be opening towards here so here the curve will be opening so this is how you draw the curves then we have the equation 3ay square equal to x square into a minus x so we can write this equation as y square x square into a minus x upon 3a when we take this x inside so we will get x cube so this equation is quadratic in y and cubic in x so this curve will also have one loop so to find the loop we put y equal to 0 when we put y equal to 0 we will get x square into a minus x equal to 0 either x is 0 or x is a so these are the two points so this is our loop what is the highest power highest power is x square so x equal to 0 the curve will be opening towards x equal to 0 point so it will be open something like this so this is how you draw the loop so more such loops we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures